Good evening and welcome to today's Jodie's Food for Thought. Now last week I reviewed the Twinings Tea and you may remember that this was my favourite last week. It was the rose lemon flavour. Well my lovely friend Debbie, uh, a member at DW, works at Sainsbury's and she bought me in these fantastic things right here. So this is the Sainsbury's owned brand version and you can see it's called Cold Brew. It's £2.50 for 15 bags, so a lot more uh, cost efficient than the uh, Twinings one. And here we have lime, lemon and mint flavor. So that's lemon and mint. And then one I'm really gonna love, watermelon and lime flavor. And you can see I've brewed them up. The instructions for these ones are just to pop them in 50 mils of water and leave for 10 minutes. Um, and the stronger you like the flavour, the obviously the longer you brew them for. So, let's try, first of all, this one here, which is the lemon and mint. I've just tried a bit on that spoon and it was delicious. So these are different flavours to the uh, Twinings one and obviously I think they've done it on purpose as well to try and get more of the market. Um, so again, just to let you know, these teas, if you didn't watch my previous video, they are all uh, natural ingredients and there's no sweetener in there. So basically it tastes like cold herbal tea. And I must say, I think I actually prefer that flavour to the Twinings one. It does seem to be a little bit stronger. Obviously I have made these ones in a smaller cup, so that's obviously why it's a little bit stronger. Now people have posed the question, why couldn't you just use um, normal herbal tea bags and let it cool? Well, I've been reading a little bit about it and you may see, look, it's kind of a mesh. It's very strange tea bag. It's not like a normal tea bag. And I th all the information I can find is these ones claim to be the first herbal tea bag which is safe to drink cold. So I'm not sure how or why it's not safe to drink uh, cold normal tea, um, but this is what it says. Um, so let's try the second one, which is the watermelon and lime flavor. If you've tried these, please let me know what you think. The smell to that one is just amazing. So this is watermelon and lime. I can taste the watermelon. I can't really taste the lime, to be honest. And give it another stir. If you've tried the uh, Twinings ones, please also leave a comment. Just value for money. These are great. Two fifty for fifteen bags. Um, I actually, you know what? I thought I was going to prefer the watermelon one, but I actually prefer the mint and lemon. This mint and lemon one is delicious. I really like that one. But it just goes to show, my other favourite was the um, rose lemonade. So there must be something about the lemon which I'm attracted to. Uh, Maureen, you look very fresh considering your day. That tea bag looks a bit suspicious. <laughs> yes, Maureen, they do look a little bit uh, suspicious looking, don't they? It's like, but let me read you the ingredients. Calorie wise, by the way, guys, it's one calorie. Um, ingredients in this one, white hibiscus, peppermint leaf, apple, lemon flavouring, sweet blackberry leaves, licorice root, rose hip, orange peel, flavouring and lemon peel. So those are all the ingredients. You can see there's no sweetener um, and there's nothing bad for you in those. So I really would recommend you liking them. Not everybody is going to like them, remember, because as I said, if you do prefer something sweet, these are not sweet. Um, but if you like the natural flavour of water and you do get a little bit bored with it, then I would definitely recommend trying these. Right, guys, thank you for joining us this evening. That's it from me today. Um, and yes, Maureen, I have done a lot of classes today dressed up, which uh, has been fun. But goodbye from now, guys, and I'll see you in the morning where Pam...
A will be back. Bye for now. Good night. And yes, Jill, Yorkshire tea.